Hello, so this is a video to show you how to draw realistic looking 3D chain. I'm going to draw the first step with this pen so that you can just see it as I go. So I'll just draw first one and then I'll draw some other ones to show you how it's done. So you want to just draw it. I'll change the pen just so that this line first it stays there. that easy. So what happens is you first draw your center and then you draw the squiggly line which I'll show you how that goes. So let's say your center line is curved. So let's make one that's really complex but it's still very easy. So your center line just follows this and what you're doing is you're drawing the inside of each side of the link. So what you want to do is make a curve and then a little transition to the to the next curve. So it's this way and it's this way. And that transition could almost just be almost nothing. Like this, like this, this. Now for every Everywhere where the curve goes out, that's where you want to offset it out. So here's another one, so you want to offset it and just like stay completely away from it and keep that same thickness of the link. So it's like this. That's it. Now we'll just, to make it easier, we'll just do one whole side, then the other whole side, and then we'll fill in the, the inside pieces. I found that you could be really sloppy with this and it still works. So if one link is a little bit smaller than the next one, it just looks like it's bunched up or rotated a little bit. It, it all still works. So this, it, it kind of doesn't look like a chain yet, but as soon as you start adding these little pieces, all of a sudden it, it comes into view and it looks like chain. It's very simple. So now they don't have to be this shape, they could be any shape you want. So you could really do a link that, you know, let me start a different page, that looks more rect rectangular. So we'll do a, a link that's square, down to another one, like really do that transition. Like that. So the more of a transition you have, the, the looser the chain looks. So if you have a a transition that looks like this. I'll, I'll do two side by side. So this one, the chain will look a little bit more loose. All you're doing is offsetting out the, the one that's sticking out to the side. That's where you want to offset it out to. And these are actually oriented the correct way for a chain, which is over, over, under, under, like that. Usually you see people draw a chain and it's over, under, over, under, like that, which means it's, it would have to be twisted. Otherwise each link would rotate back like that. So really it's an impossible chain unless it's one of those that's smashed down like a jewelry. So this, now that they're closer together, Try this, see if that one works. Sometimes I don't even know what these are going to look like. You can experiment with different shapes. So this looks really elongated. So 
So you can even do like triangular shapes. So like if you want to do a different shape link, like square, oval, do a triangle one. So like do the inside of the link. Then there's your transition, and we'll do it tight so there won't hardly be a sideways. And then it'll go this way, this way, this way, like that. So now just go offset out to the outside. I'll show you another trick here to keep your lines right after this one. Each one of the same same method just you get different looks with each one so basically what what you have to keep in mind <clears throat> is the center of your chain that's where this actually wraps up and over and wraps under so it, I'll draw a line like this represents the center of your chain if you're doing links like this again we'll just do that this is where you want to do your transition so right right on that center so like this like that and then when you do your your links how it rotates up and then down that rotates right around this center axis so you want to rotate up around this and then as soon as you hit this that's when you want to turn back up again and then same thing with this that's as soon as you hit this that's when you turn back up so go around that just like the thickness from here to here, it's the thickness from there to there, like it's a little radius. And then this. And these lines right here should follow right as if it's passing right through this one right to there. So this starts there and goes like that. It starts it right like that. So just like that, that easy. And you could do super complex shapes. You could even do lettering if you wanted to. So I'll do, I'll do a, a, just a circle. So see, even if you kind of mess up, you won't be able to see this. See how this got a little bit smaller and big? That's, that's good when you do that. So this will just go on the outside of all of these. And then we'll go to the inside. And now we'll fill in the blanks. I'm drawing this with a sharpie. I'm not having to erase anything. I didn't even do a center line or a little guide. You do this in a few times and you'll get used to it and you'll know the shape it's going to make. Yeah, I forgot a couple. So this could be your around a wrist. This could also be like a, a around a picture frame. You could even do like little chains that wrap around that kind of picture whatever you want. So like if you had a, a little r tinier, a smaller one that kind of dig zigzags like this. You could do these really quick. So wherever there's a bulge on the outside, all I did was a squiggly line. And this guideline the first line that I did, you'd probably do that with pencil or something that you could erase if you're not used to it. Now these go like this. And then your small ones. And you don't need to put detail into every single one because it, it kind of tells the story that you know it's chained, even though it's kind of messy. I'm drawing it kind of with a worn out sharpie, but it still gets a point across. So you could have this wrap, you could even have it wrap around like this, just 
to follow the same thing all the way around if you wanted to. Another example of some chain that has a different detail. So this, I always do it like the outside first, and then the inside, you could do this little, like a little weld mark where it's been combined together just by doing a little dimple. Where it looks a little bit more like chain, it doesn't take much. And then get in there and just shade how you regularly would and even with a, a drop shadow too so subscribe and like if you like it thank you